This should be an interesting plan with me. Today, I'm going to be planning the week of Monday, March 13th through Sunday, March 19th, 2017 in my Erin Condren vertical, no, not vertical, hourly <laughs> life planner, right? And it's neutral. I was really not entirely certain if I was going to film this week. I moved. Some of you saw my update video. I moved and it, I didn't get a lot done via for YouTube and my online stuff during that time. Cause it was an intense moving experience, not moving like, Oh my, my soul was moved, but moving as in, Oh, my shit was moved. And the closest I've had to a religious experience about this is the deep knowledge that I will never do this again. I will die in this fucking house. I swear to God, but I digress. P.S. I'm using my handy artist loft palace palette knife, which I know I've hooked a bunch of you on for cutting your washi. If you are one of the people that have decided that this is the washi cutting excellence, because of me, let me know in the comments because I see people using it now and I'm like, was it me or is other people coming up with this idea too? Like, not because I'm like narcissistic, even though I am narcissistic, but because I'm just curious. And I'm also, I got shit like falling out of my planner everywhere. I'm also going to do, I've got some green washi that I picked. I don't know where I got any of these. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure they're all from Bye Bye Birdies Co-op slash Night Owl washi, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm picking green this week because you know it's St. Patrick's Day and I'm not, I don't like go get hella crocked and I don't do any of that shit for St. Patrick's Day, but I really like the color green and I decided I'm going to use it this week because it's my favorite color and you know, why not? Anyway, like I was rambling, I moved, bought a house, moved, have, we're still, it's a house that didn't, was not moving ready. It needed work and we do most of it ourselves and with the help of friends and this is not in our wheelhouse. So it has been a very interesting experience and basically still in a construction zone. I did a home tour of my construction zone house for my patrons. Do I like those colors together? I think I like those colors together. I hope so, because I'm not getting up to get more washi. So I did a home tour for my patrons, which if you are on my Patreon page, you can go see that video. I will be doing an office tour for this channel when I am done getting it dealt with. Right now, there's still basically stacks of everything surrounding me, and I know that like that's how most people live their lives in their office, and I'm cool with that, but I'd like to finish at least getting things somewhat figured out. I probably should also add right now, I didn't notice at the beginning, maybe I should add, so I haven't filmed this yet. So I mean, I haven't edited this yet. I might have added a disclaimer, but if I didn't add a disclaimer at the beginning, this is a fucking going to be a rambly ass video because I am, that's how I'm, where my brain is at right now. Anyway, so where was I? Yes, I bought a house. It's been an interesting time, still working on getting the bathroom finished, etc. I So I didn't get a lot done online during that period. I came back, I filmed my update, and then all hell broke loose in the planner community. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, because you're not, you're not, you weren't around for it, or you don't pay attention, or you're not on Facebook, don't even worry that much about it, because I'm not going to recap it here, because that's just not my thing. But suffice it to say, if you do know what I'm talking about, then you'll know that there has been a fucking hellacious week or so in the planner community, and I am still reeling from it, not going to lie. And I, I used my planner last week, didn't post any pictures, because I wasn't in the fucking mood for it, and now I am doing this. I was not entirely certain I was going to film a plan with me. I have a time-lapse video that's going to go up on Wednesday, and for my patrons, guys, it's going to turn into like a Cindy Pimpy and her Patreon video, but it's not what I meant. But if you are a patron, the downloads will be available today, the day I upload this video, so Monday. I was originally just going to put the time-lapse up today and not film this plan with me, but like for full disclosure, but then I decided, you know, fuck it, get back on the horse, Cindy. Like, don't let the events of this week stress you out so much that you don't do the thing that you love. Just, just do this. Just to return to some level of normalcy, or not maybe not even normalcy, but just like try and I don't know. This is I told you this can be fucking rambly. Grabbing one of my to-do stickers from Chrissy Ann Designs. It's gonna be a fucking long video. I've got my celebrations collection. I'm gonna add the 
St. Patrick's Day shit in here. Ooh, there's a whole situation with like rainbows and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use all of this, but I'm going to use a few of these stickers. I like using these stickers because, you know, stickers are meant to be used. Here we go. This is the one I want. St. Patrick's Day. I'm trying really hard to not curl up into a ball and just stick my head in the sand until it's done because it's, it's how I roll sometimes when I'm I'm going to use this weekend banner too because that is sexy. This is the celebrate. For those of you who don't realize, this is a celebration collection from Chrissy Ann Designs. It's a, um, it's a collaboration that we did. I mean, all my sticker collaborations are with her, but a specific, like, hardcore one. Okay. Am I going to use any more of these? We'll see. For now, I'm going to leave this alone. Actually, no, I'm going to use. Well, we'll give them a minute. Okay. I'm going to use this. This is a Statler Tripless, Tripless Fine Liner Black Pen. I don't remember the size, but it's this one. I'm going to use this for my writing this week, I think. And then I also have, oh, you get sirens. Somebody's, I don't know what's going on. If you can hear those sirens or not. And then I've got this Le Pen Permanent from Marvy, which is my favorite brand name, just because I think it's hilarious, um, for my, like, finally stickers and all my washi tape. And I'm going to add my weather in right now. As usual, I only add the weather through Thursday at the beginning of the week because it usually changes by the time you hit the weekend. So like I said, I'm going to keep rambling. I I have like so many thoughts and I don't want to turn this into a video rehashing shit that happened this week because it's just not my thing. But I do want to add that I think it's really important that we, we, you, me, whoever, that we... Um, I don't even know where to start. This is what I'm saying. Like, I don't even know. I'm going to put my music stickers in. Putting music stickers in is always, always helpful for me. My Chrissy Ann Designs music stickers. Whoops. I don't even know what's going on over there. So I'm going to slap them on the places that I have music. Because my family, like I've said before, my family is... We do a lot of music in this house. And so I have... I'm going to be using up all my greens today. All of my greens. I don't want to rehash everything that happened. It's not my style, generally speaking, and it's not really what this channel is for. But I am going to just say that getting, when you have had your, when you're in a place where you have like friends that are fighting or you feel kind of like, like I, one of the, the, one of the, I had to pause filming for a second because the, the, okay, so in this house, I'm just going to have to put that there because there's no space. This is a scallop. Um, there's a lot of music stuff going on this week, but there's also a concert for one of the kids. And I thought that I would, rather than use the regular music sticker, use one of these once more with love, little music munchkins stick it here for that but then I also have something at six so this is going to be interesting we'll see how this goes so this is all my music anyway um I had to pause filming for a second so that because in my new house I haven't quite figured out the lighting and when lighting's good but the piece of poster board I had taped up can't even spell today fuck poster board fell down startled the shit out of me and fucked everything up so anyway yeah I've got a lot going on Music wise, my son has after school band. I have my quintet practice. My husband has band practice. And then there's a concert. This all this rambling, I know I'm rambling a lot, and this is not necessarily, you know, the most interesting sounding video, but to put this a different way, I'm rambling because I'm trying to to figure out how I feel about life in general and on planner community and like I'm I'm struggling to reconcile how I feel about certain things and and there was a few minutes a few minutes it's it's an understatement there was some time where I didn't feel like even trying anymore with all of like plannering and lettering and stuff I just wanted to be done with everything and just say peace out girl scout and then I realized that that's not really how I feel. I, and I'm not prepared to, I'm not prepared to just peace out like that. So, but what's happening instead is that I'm going to use one of these, I think. That'll work. 
What's happening instead is that I'm just having a lot of like sad, grumpy feelings about stuff. And I thought I would give a shot, this a shot, like plannering and stuff, a shot to make me feel better. And I thought, well, I might as well film it because I know there are some people who are also feeling crappy about life in the planner community. Okay. That is for an event for my son's school. So you got those things in. What other events do I need to add in? And like I said, I'm sorry, it's going to be a long fucking video and it's rambly, but I'm just, I'm kind of stream of consciousness talking right now. My daughter will be out of town this weekend at a, at a event. Where do I want to put this? My daughter will be out of town this weekend for a retreat and I wanted to mark it with washi. Anyway, I love all this green. This green's making me happy. Stream of consciousness rambling is that I'm just curious to know what your thoughts are on getting back to something, getting back on the horse when you are not feeling it because of like upsetting things that were upsetting. This sticker from GoPlan okay on Etsy and I am gonna just slap it here for a training I'm going to that weekend. Okay, I swear I am all over the place in this plan with me and I am so sorry about that. I gotta road I gotta drive for about basically about four hours on Sunday to go pick up my daughter and others from the retreat that's this weekend that they're going to. Is this straight enough? So this road washy. I don't pretty sure this is a bye bye birdies thing. And the I ironic thing is I'm gonna bring it right into this sticker because I'm basically gonna be going straight from coming back from the driving to <laughs> picking them up. So that's gonna be a an interesting rushing everywhere day. So I wanted to kind of discuss how is it that you, how is it that you get back on the horse when you are, when you are upset or you're stressed out and the things that bring you joy aren't bringing you joy because of whatever reasons. And this is not kind of my cord is still fucking whatever. This is not an indictment of people who can still keep going on. Like, and I'm not trying at all to turn this into a situation where I start talking about the, the, like, you know, the way that, the way that people, um, however things may have shaken out in the, the week, like however things might have shaken out in this last week in the planner community and however you feel about it. I know that there are a lot of people who are hurting and there are a lot of people who feel like they have have like damage to their friendships, irreparable in some cases. And I have some feelings myself and it is really difficult sometimes. How do you how do you reconcile how you're feeling? Like I'm not talking about how to get back to a place where you're comfortable with your friends that you may have had damaged damaged situations with. You know, I'm not, I'm not talking about that because I don't know how to solve a problem like that myself. I'm going to use another sticker from, from once more with love to highlight the fact that my husband has a concert, has a gig and I might actually get to go to it. So that's exciting. Anyway. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to fix those things. I don't know how to fix being upset with people that you care about or feeling like you have been like you've lost, uh, however the case may be. I don't know how to fix that. What I'm trying to figure out is how to, how to continue to enjoy a, grab one of these little things because Katie's getting, how do you continue to enjoy yourself in a hobby or doing whatever when you feel like you're, everything's been kind of yanked out from under you? How do you do that? Because I don't know. So my daughter's getting picked up. This week is already shaken out to be busy. Um, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to, how to, how to just pick up and just keep going. I know some people can, and I'm really curious. And if you can, let me know. For the love of God, let me know. Um, 
I'm using the shit out of some ones more with love stickers this week. I think I'm gonna, I gotta get like some work done today. So I'm gonna let her in. Motherfucker. I went over into the, see this happens. This fucking happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, this is, I'm gonna, <laughs> this is what happens when you fuck up. You improvise to make it look better. I was telling my Monica Colty planner at the um, Pacific Northwest meetup that I cover up with stickers. That is a little once more with love sticker there. And this will just be my work area right here. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Um, I'm not going to write the things I need to do though, because that is, it's confidential. I will take a minute to add some color in. How do you, so I'm, I'm testing my theory out today about just trying again, getting back on the horse, immersing yourself into it. I'm testing that. As you can tell from my extreme ramblings that I have been doing, I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good at just putting myself in. I tend to be someone who goes full force into anything I want to do and then as soon as I get emotional or upset about something, I tend to stick my head in the sand. And that's been kind of how I've been feeling this last week. So doing this video is a way for me to try and just get right back on the horse, to be here for everybody who is upset. I don't know. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you're probably, you've probably already clicked off this video. But like, I'd like to hear about like your self-care. Like, Talk about it in the comments. What do you do for self-care when you're upset, when you feel like... When you feel like shit is just not happening the way that like things are changing and you don't know how to how to handle them like if that's if that is something that you feel some at my dinner plans here this is rj's birthday dinner so we don't know what we're doing yet because he hasn't decided but i do need to go grocery shopping so i'm going to add that too All right, I think this is getting to the point where I've done most of what I need to move my to-do list over from the previous week where I didn't get much of anything accomplished, but I'm gonna add something in the thankful box. So for those of you who've stuck around this entire time, like I really appreciate it for listening to me rambling. I'd like to know how do you, what do you do for self-care when you are hurting or upset? <clears throat> what do you do when you, you don't know what to do. How do you, how do you, how do you handle or how do you manage, how do you manage the feelings that you get when you feel torn in different directions? And like, I don't know. I'm, I don't, I don't even know where my thought process is on this, but I do know that I'm going to put a St. Patrick's Day Steve right here because yes, shit. Yes. St. Patrick's Day Steve. Ah, you're going to go there. Are you going to be straight? This has probably been one of the most disjointed plan with me's I've ever done. But to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't I didn't know what was gonna happen when I picked up the camera to start filming this. I also don't know if this is gonna fit. This is not gonna fit. Whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. I I didn't know it was gonna happen when I picked up the camera. I didn't know if I was going to be happy filming the video or or if this was going to just be something that was going to make me feel worse and I think it's kind of in the middle I'm glad to be filming this I'm glad to be getting something up I'm glad to be putting some stuff in my planner and feeling good about it though I did do it like I did do a little bit of it last week just not very much you know that feels good it feels good to know that I'm trying that I'm not whoops I missed whatever I don't fucking care okay like, it's good to know that I'm trying. It's good to know. And I, I don't want this to seem like a whiny fucking video, but I'm just, like, for example, my Llamas Love Lettering Every Damn Day Challenge, I have not lettered in that since, when was the last day? I lettered in that, full disclosure, my last day that I lettered was, for this challenge, was the 6th. Today that I'm filming is the 13th, so that's seven days. Seven days. So I need to catch up on that. That's on my to-do list today. I'm going to add that here that you can see that. I'm going to add this little rainbow to remind myself to catch up 
on the challenge because I consider that both self-care and something like all the women I chose this month are interesting. I picked them because I wanted to highlight different women that had maybe don't get as much like play in the Women's History Month. And I need to do that. I need to do that. I need to do these things to work in my planner, to get myself out of a funk, to feel better, to move forward, to continue to embrace the community that I love, regardless of how it's shaken out or where people are at the moment. I need to approach it from the best place that I can. And that's what I'm doing right now. So this may not have been the most interesting plan with me. This may have been the most rambly plan with me. I appreciate everybody who stuck around. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who is out there trying their hardest to do something that makes them happy. Thank you. I think I'm going to end it here. This, I still have more shit to put in here, but I'm really, I can't ramble at the camera anymore. I'm starting to feel self-conscious. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.